Hey everyone, Jared James here, and welcome to episode 81 of Today with Jared James. I am joined not by one, by two, actually like two and a half, because I've got a little critter two next to eight. me. Two and an eight. <laughs> yeah, just about <laughs> over here. But I'm joined by two people, uh, someone that you guys know very well uh, to my left, Mr. Tom DeDemo. Tom, you want to say hi to everybody? Tom, I would love that. Hello. Hi, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's about that's about as much as you get from Tom. Hello. <laughs> And then uh, to my right, this one broke into my home today uh, and demanded. Actually, there is some. There's no truth to that, but um, we are <laughs> we are doing this podcast. Yeah, where is this going? Oh God, there's no truth to that. <laughs> but <laughs> Wait, hold on. Then. To my right, Miss Linda Yakub. Hi. Which, for anybody who has been following me, has seen you uh, on my Instagram, on my Facebook, yeah. on uh, you know uh, my Be Real, mm -hmm. uh, on you know whatever. So yeah. uh, you want to say hello and tell everybody who you are? Hello, I am Linda Yakub. <laughs> yeah, um, from California, all the way from California. Yeah. Here, broke into Jared's home. Broke into my home. Um, broke into actually, it was he allowed me to just walk right in. Okay, so this is great. You're my lady. Uh, yes, yeah, my lady. Okay, so we'll uh, get we'll get into that a little bit. But... We will down the road, or I mean, you have some questions we're gonna ask. Um, me, <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. It's my first podcast. Um, with you, mm -hmm. people have been begging you what the past couple of days actually constantly. Well, not last couple, like, constantly. Everybody's like, when you do more podcasts, when you do more, and just to be completely honest with everybody, uh, my last podcast was August. And I haven't stopped doing content. I mean, if you look at Instagram, you look, I mean, I'm doing a ton of content. Yeah. You look at the stuff for our students. You yeah. look at the advance we just did. You look at doing a ton of content. Uh, but it's just when it came to the podcast, uh, I was moving into a new home. I was getting whatever. And I'm like, where should we shoot this? What should we do? And I kind of stopped doing it. But it was right before convention season, which was crazy yeah. time. And now everywhere I'm going, they're like, why? I mean, in the freaking sauna today. I'm sitting in the sauna today and Tom's face is I know, interesting. <laughs> I'm in the sauna today and a guy looks over and he goes, and I could tell he was being a little bit weird. Uh, and he goes, Jared, Let's right? Let's hope he's not listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, he was cool. I told you he was cool. Like, well, he probably will be the, based on the fact that he, what he Put said. Front of the sauna. But he goes, he goes, Jared, right? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, don't worry, man, nothing weird, nothing weird. He goes, I love your stuff. I love whatever. Yeah. He goes, I need more podcasts. Like, you know, whatever. Right after that, I get back, I get a text message from a guy and he's like, dude, I need more podcasts. I use them in our, our sales leadership things. I need, you know, For the whatever. Record, it's not my fault that he's not doing a podcast. No, but you it's did push me. That No, no. It's not my fault that you haven't done it. Yeah. Yes. I no, push no, no, no. But you pushed me and say, let's start doing these. And Correct. so, so guys, we're going to, we're going to pump out some more of these now. Uh, today we're going to, we're going to talk about, I think some things that we don't generally talk about. Oh. We'll talk about how you and I met. We'll talk about uh, uh, that stuff. Uh, Tom will jump in hopefully more often than not. <laughs> Although he's usually, usually got to be uh, prodded to do so. Usually. Um, I'm but excited. Yeah, but yeah, you know what? I started thinking about it and I'm like, there's so much potential content for podcasts on a regular basis. It's just, you get so crazy and you're all over that. We just don't stop and do them. Yeah. I just put out a thing on Instagram on the nine rules uh, for 2023, which really was the 10 rules, but Instagram only allows 10 pictures. And so with the cover photo, we had to make that nine. <laughs> so there's a hidden one that none of you know about, right. Uh, that missed the cut. I guess we'll, we'll release that in the after hours. Um, but I was thinking like, I should do a podcast on those because when you put something out on Instagram, you know, nine rules for 2023, I said, what's your favorite one, right? Yeah. And uh, that post has a ton of comments and a ton of, and people are just like, boo boo. And you hear the ones that are consistently the ones that they're into, right? But I didn't get to really, what I write, a sentence or two about each one. You yeah, don't really- you, you couldn't elaborate on each one of them. Yeah. But um, I'm glad, I'm glad like you actually said, and you mentioned this yesterday when you were um, out in Dallas, um, goals versus- uh, Resolutions. Resolution. I haven't and done so, that either. Yeah. I really loved how you pointed that out. Um, so what you're talking about, and I really should do this, uh, we'll do a separate podcast or a separate post or something, but I said, you know, everybody's messing these things up and everybody has resolutions yeah. and uh, resolutions are just declarations when you mm -hmm. think about it. Right. It's like, uh, I'm going to lose weight. You know, I'm going to be like Noah said to me, my son, he goes, I want to get better in the morning. I want to, it's just diarrhea of the, you know, whatever. You're just saying what it is you want, but there's nothing attached to it, right? And that's really the difference between goals and resolutions. Goals um, are specific. Goals have plans. Goals have deadlines. Goals have accountability. Goals yeah, are how you right. actually attain resolutions, right? The goal is what does it. Is it very much, is it very much like lead and lag measures, right? Shorty sure. X models, like sure. very, for this industry that knows that, like it's, very much like that. It's very much, I what I compare for with, with my thing is more like it's the difference between coaching and training. Mm. 
Um, and what I mean by that is, is training is very much like, like the audience I was talking to yesterday. I said, guys, this is training. Yeah. These are resolutions. I'm telling you things, right? It's hearing. It's a YouTube video. It's an Instagram video. It's a TikTok video. Coaching mm-hmm. is, is in that analogy, the goal. It's specific. There's a plan. There's accountability. There is, and people mix those things up all the time. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's resolution versus goal. It's coaching versus training. They're two yeah. different things. Yeah. And so in order to ever reach any kind of uh, resolution, you have to have goals attached to them. Like that's what it actually is. Mm-hmm. So that's not the point of today's podcast, just so everybody knows, but there you go. <laughs> maybe we'll maybe we'll clip that out. Stay tuned for episode 82. <laughs> yeah. You know what we really should do? <laughs> It'll be here in two years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but really, we really should have done a podcast just with the pre-podcast. This one over here just chirping in the mic. Oh, sorry. Going, no, it was fantastic. Uh, yeah. I looked over at Tom like, this should really be the podcast, like listening to everything <laughs> being said beforehand. Um, but let's get into this because you're kind of a new fixture in, I am. in our world, uh, you know, uh, tell them who you are, like what's your, you know, like you run a company, you do. You yeah, know, yeah. Um, and we'll talk okay, about how we correction. met whatever. I'm not a new fixture in this world. I've been around for a while. Well, as of yesterday, what? been around for a while, while. What does that mean? It means it was your birthday. Oh, yes. My birthday. Yeah. Yes. Um, 59 we years we young, this one. Long, so we'll kidding. celebrate today. Okay, Tom. Love it. Um, no, I've been in the industry. I don't even know where to start, but in the industry for about. 14 years. I ran the MLS um, as an MLS executive out in Central California for 10. Absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Um, I got to know a ton of agents and brokers. I think our association back then had about 5,000 agents. Okay. So fun. Um, My hometown is Fresno, California. Very small town. Not that small, but okay. I mean, it's not that small. You're right. (laughs) If that's a story we want to go in. I mean, just know there's a lot of people actually listening to this from small towns. So when you say Fresno, I say, oh, I'm from California. The first thing they say, Thomas, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're from California. I'm like, no, no, Fresno. It's more the politics than whatever. Like, you know, it's like everybody leaves there. Yeah, farm it's... town, like yeah. a great place to raise yeah. a family. And so yeah. been out there. I'm first generation here. And so grew up in Fresno, went to school there, worked there. Um, prior to being in the MLS space, technology, I've been around for quite some time. Right worked for Apple and Apple corporate, which was wonderful. Um, back in the day, I'm not even sure if you remember this, maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know what your, your age. I don't want to ask Mr. HR, but so <laughs> no, back in the day where there, when there was Pac Bell that merged over to singular and then merged he over to at and you remember oh, you singular? Do okay. I don't believe that. <laughs> this is how you're going to open up our podcast? You're going to lie? No. no I <laughs> okay, so I helped with the merger like of the, and then launched the first iPhone um, back in 07, I think, 2007. Tell me about I look the iPhone. at you. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was Wait, thinking, why do so, you say look at me like it's just, like I'm gonna no help? No, no, I don't. I don't know if you knew. I was still so thinking about his lie a minute ago. <laughs> it better be the singular lie that you tell on this. I'm not, that old, lie. I'm not that young, you know. Like <laughs> seven, I, was, I was very uh, young in 2000. We're like ten years seven. apart. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, you're getting almost to respectable age. Right. I okay. Gotcha. So I've been I gotcha. in tech for a long time, and then went over to the MLS world, which I fell in love with real yeah. estate. At first, I had no idea what MLS even was. Right. You know, my family knows it as soccer. Mm-hmm. Um, coming from my dad grew up in England, yeah. being Middle Eastern, like so that was MLS for me. And uh, so, getting into the real estate space was super interesting. Hmm. Very boring at first, because all you it was it's a, honestly MLS exec. It's a desk job. Yeah, it's, right. It's this answering. And you're more of a call. you're more of a people person. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. You like to yeah. And it was all about Shake like and bake. It was all about rules, bake, rules, rules. Yeah. Shake and bake. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't get movie examples. No, no, I don't. I'm terrible. Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't do it. Not no, first or last. Not great. You know when he does, he up. he no does it. And <laughs> no. Anyways, pets heads are falling off. About who <laughs> um. Anyways, left MLS. Was a VP of operations for a large brand, and then um, Maybe it's okay. California, you can say it. Berkshire Hathaway, Home Services, yeah. America. Yeah, it's okay. Um, out we, in we are we are brand agnostic. Like we work, okay. I work with all brands, all whatever. It's okay to say names. It's all. I work good. with all yeah. brands. Yes, I'm aware. You, your company as well. Yes, that is true. And now I run a tech company that's geared in the real estate space, which is called Listing Alert. Oh, we can't say the name of a company on here. 
No, it's getting off. So I've been doing that uh, just shy under three years. Company is still, we're still a startup. Yep. But thriving. And you're making major excited. deals. We won't mention the stuff, but you're making major deals with a lot of the brands advice. right now. And yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited. It's, 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 it has been amazing. Um, startup world is not for everybody. Right. Right. And but I love the hustle and bustle, trying to figure things out. Yeah. I love the failure of things and growing from that. Um, it's been great. And just meeting new people, honestly. I mean, you're okay. So, so you're kind of a cool, like, uh, uh, you know, you look at your Instagram account, you look at, um, you just did some modeling. Oh my gosh. For a clothing line for, uh, desk to desk. Desk Sorry. to desk. It's all good. I mean, it's amazing for women in business. That's what I was going to say. That's like why me. they were calling on you because yeah. they want, yeah. I mean, it's, I don't have to think about things. They're just, I think they're about to release, um, some, uh, box clothes, like where, yeah. you know, you kind of ship it over and I, my life is all over the place because yeah. I'm number one, a mom. Yeah. And then number two, I run a company. Yeah. Number three, Jared. <laughs> That high up, huh? I know. I was gonna say I was actually a little surprised. That's <laughs> yes, top three. Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But in all seriousness, though, say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is there something on the table, Rips? <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, though, you did. Uh, it is cool. I think people are fascinated following you because you are. We'll get into how you and I met and everything else, but like, yeah, uh, you are this. You know, this boss babe. That's like the new hashtag, boss babe, right? Okay. You're CEO of a tech company. Um, you're, uh, you know, a mom, you know, yeah. with, with, uh, relatively young children. I mean, not, you know, months old, well, everybody's we, months old on some level. Dependent. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, they're not, they're not my they're, kid's age. No. You know what I mean? Our kids, you know, my kids take care of me, you mm -hmm. know, it's, um, so it's a little different. And then, I, you know, and I'm still, I'm, uh, fairly newly divorced. And so yeah. I'm trying to figure out this whole single mom life and yeah. making sure that my priority is still my kids, but having to support this new lifestyle you're feeding a, you're feeding so you're, you're feeding your drive out. meaning that oh, you're yeah. a driven woman you're whatever but then you're i mean you and i've talked about this many times your mom first you're you know and then you've got the drive and then you've got yeah. uh you and i making time for each other and doing you know that whole life and i think uh i mean your following's grown a lot the last few months like i, I think, think it's because I of think, the hot mess i am yeah i think people are all together i think people are i think people are fascinated by the idea that you are um this kind of not because you are all of these things, but you're also learning all of these things. And you're very honest about that. No, you're I, learning. Do I do everything? Yeah, you're right. learning. You're in learning all of these roles. Yeah. You're learning how to do it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, what I love about you, I mean, I'll just be very honest here. I mean, that's what my audience would expect from me is that you are not um, one of these boss babe, whatever, that goes everywhere with an attitude going, I'm going to do this because I'm a woman, you know, whatever. Oh. Like you are someone who's just like, uh, why don't you give people your theory on that? I don't want to speak for you. Oh, uh, yeah. I am. Because we talked about, about this. Yes, I'm not all about like women empowerment. Like we need more women leaders, and um, I, and, and I don't know how people are going to take this, but like, well, you'd like I, more women. You just I, want I, good I people. Like that I'm all about like working hard, and I deserve to be in the position based on what I've done and my growth or whatever the whatever it is. It's not. Um, you're not there because you're a woman, or because you're Middle Eastern, or or because of diversity. Yeah. Like that, honestly, no offense, is, you know, I don't want to be here because you need your board of directors or your or employees In list Middle to be diverse. Board. Yeah. I, I earn it. I've earned it. I don't know. I haven't earned it. I don't, I haven't gone to college, so I don't have a diploma to show it. By the way, I love that. I think everybody needs to understand that. I CEO of a tech a company, degree. boss, babe, make all these lists, do all this, whatever. You never, you never went to college. Oh. Yeah. I, I went, I, I had in a past relationship, my ex-boyfriend mentioned Linda education is an attractive thing to have and, yeah. a, and a woman needs to have education and I would love that so I go to school so I went to school for the wrong reasons because he literally said a woman get a degree education. you you need it um and so I did that and all I have to show for it is our student loans <laughs> I need to pay off because I did not finish it it just wasn't for me yeah okay so um so I have I've probably had to work 10 times harder to get where I'm at right, today. Right. right? So you um, understand, but... you understand that it's so funny because it's like these two different worlds. In one way, it's like everybody wants to go, hey, I need I need a woman. I need a Middle Eastern woman. I need a whatever. But then on the other hand, you also have to work your butt off because you didn't have the degree. Oh, yeah. And then there is the overcoming of, well, I'm not a white male in the, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. And so you, but you have kind of separated the two in the sense that you understand that exists. 
Absolutely. But you don't want to be anywhere just because you're a Middle Eastern woman. Mm -mm. You're like, I'm I'm me. Don't like, use I need to succeed. To, that's it. Yes. Like that's it. I'm, I'm I'm here because I deserve to be. Correct. Correct. I want yeah. them to see the value. Yeah, it. we're not Outside we're not we're not hitting a quota. Oh, totally. There wasn't there wasn't uh, nine guys on this board. We needed a girl. Hey, look at her. She's not only female. Her skin's yeah. a little darker. You know, like you no. Know, um, or if that's the case, just keep it to yourself. Yes. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> just turn on your board. <laughs> but that's the truth, though. Yeah. You know. Um, and anyways, it allows someone to feel empowered too. And yeah. you go in there and you. I don't. Please, work, are you kidding me? Like I, I love. I mean, let's talk about it. So, like, I love that about you. By the way. Mm -hmm. Um, your mentality on that, your whole, I love that. You know that. Yeah. Um, cause I'm all for meritocracy, best wins. You know what I mean? I don't care if that's 10 women. Good, mm -hmm. good. 10 out of 10. Awesome. Best wins. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Um, now when we met, the funny story is, so we've known each other for Ooh, a while. Yeah. Long time. You hired me. Uh, so th this was back when I was at MLS exec. Yeah. Um, and I hired you. Funny story is I don't, I'm not even sure if you know this, Tom. I went to NAR event, heard him speak at a breakout session. I'm not even I sure think. if I knew that. And just still didn't really know who he was because I'm not in the, I'm in the real estate space, but I don't sell real estate. So I don't listen to coaching yeah. strategies or whatever. And so I needed a keynote speaker for our associations event. And Must someone, killed it someone <laughs> handed me his, I wrote his name down on something and I reached out. It must have been Kat. I talked to, I don't even know Maybe. who I spoke to. Maybe. Well, like, honestly, no one ever gets that. direct to Jared. Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> not, <laughs> that, not that long ago though. That was, I mean, if it was that long ago, it was probably someone else, but anyway. Yes, was, yes. I always want to say Rachel or yeah, Michelle yeah. or something probably. like that. Yeah, but something. anyways, and so reached out and um, I said, hey, I need, a, I need a keynote speaker. They gave me the fee and everything. No, maybe even not. But I was like, I want to interview him first. I have no idea who he is. I'm not sure if it's, that's what I want. Um, Jeez. so no, I, was I didn't even know who he was. I didn't know who he was. Um, and so uh had a Zoom meeting with you. Zoom. Whatever it was back then. Who knows? It was Zoom or something else. Know. It was that long ago, it might have been something else. But either way, yep. Yeah, and um that's it. <laughs> so the funny story goes, so that so, that happened. Obviously, the interview went well. And then he gave uh, me a heck of a deal. Yeah, <laughs> nobody's getting that deal anymore. Yeah. <laughs> We don't do that deal anymore. That was a long time ago. <laughs> that was a long, but anyway, so go to the event, uh, do, do a mic check the night before. Okay. And you got to remember at this time I'm married, she's married, you know, whatever I see her. And I'm just like, oh, and I'm trying to do all the nice things. Yeah. Jared, I could pick you up from the airport. Yep. No, thanks. Yep. Okay, fine. Yep. Um, uh, Jared, do you know, everything was like, no, 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 no. So like the only nice thing I could do was put a little gift basket in his in, yeah. in your room. Yep. Um, with like literally his assistant at the time told me everything he liked. A ton of protein stuff. <laughs> like that's what it was. That's not good. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they, they put all these things in the can and everything. I'm not gonna eat them, you know? So so the funny story was was that so the reason why was that so when we got on the Zoom, uh I'm married, she's married, you know, whatever. It was I, yeah, I was nothing. I was attracted to her. I saw it and I love dark features. I love, you know, whatever. I'm just like, oh, okay. So honestly, it was like out of respect for my wife that I'm like, no, nope, not picking me up at the airport. Nope, not doing nope, you know, whatever. And so that's out of pure innocence, just no, she's just being somebody. a no, you 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 know her, like she's like as sweet as can be. Yeah. So then I get there, I go do the mic check, and I'm like, Yeah, yeah, that's what I expected. You know, and so we finish, we finish the mic check and this is the kind of the funny, like, uh, she always tells, this is always a joke because everyone will always ask California, Connecticut, how, yeah. can I, how, does, how does that work? how do you guys meet? And I always start off. Oh, he rejected me. I asked him if he wanted a drink at the bar before the night was over. Well, and we were done with the mic check and you're like, he Hey, I'll stay in here. Do you want to staff's here? Whatever. Do you want to get a drink at the bar? You know, whatever. And I'm like, it wasn't just him and I, it was my staff yeah, and people and yeah. he rejected like, me. Nope. Not once. Nope. Twice. She says it again. She's like, whatever. She's yes. like, are you sure? Like we're all here. I'm like, nope. No, I'm good. So the joke is, oh, I met him because I hired him and he rejected me. Yeah. 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 yeah that's and that's a true story. And that was, yeah. and by the way, that was for me, that was just respect for my wife. That was like, whatever, like, Hey, you know, now, like maybe if your name was Gertrude and you were 95 and whatever, I go, <laughs> you know, whatever, like, 
think I'm good, right? It didn't phase me, but like I just no. And so okay. that went on, and then her main friends. Uh, she moved to various places, you know, uh, whatever. And then obviously we went through a similar situation, uh, you know, which leads us to this now, um, mm-hmm. which is hilarious because for me, um, I love the fact that she's Middle Eastern. I mean, like I love the fact she's Middle Eastern because it opens up a whole other set of jokes for me. I mean, just yeah. if you know me, I joke about everything so i uh for you you're welcome yeah for everyone else i apologize <laughs> don't get offended but i do have if to she's say not offended, no one else all, can be. all i hear is that every speaker and coach needs a middle eastern woman mm, to mm. make you happy yeah and if you need to tom you could ask gary v because yeah. i'm sure he would agree okay. you know, <laughs> tom, do you know what's like, hilarious you know what's hilarious about that but, some some people might not know what you're talking about gary v is? no they know who gary v is most likely yeah. uh but oh, his lady. I did not even know about this lady. Oh, she's beautiful. Well, I, thank you. Because Middle I was about to say. I feel like you guys look very similar. <laughs> I saw. I know, she's. I saw this. I saw this the other day. Someone brought it to my attention. I was like, oh my god, wow! And I'm like, oh my god, like you guys are like very similar. Which which is crazy because Gary V's in the industry. You're like he does more than just real On estate. The Middle Eastern, yeah. But I'm like, oh my gosh, like we could all relate. So we should try to. That's grab hilarious. dinner with them sometime yeah <laughs> like, i will reach out don't worry <laughs> we've if we've i don't i don't doubt it i bet you would uh so anyway so but that's anyway. that's kind of how we met that's how yeah. you know whatever and so like i said people have seen you now on my social they've seen whatever yeah. we've had other additions uh to the family uh one is right here next to us if you want to pick this little guy up so for any of you watching uh on the video right now um this is, he has an Instagram handle, Teddy James Today. <laughs> not Jared James Today. Teddy James animal. Today. It is not a stuffed animal. Not, let me see this Put things in perspective. <laughs> this is Jared's Vente cup. Yeah. And so, very <laughs> tiny. Huh? Let me see him. Come here, baby. You do. This yeah. is, uh, this is Teddy. Yes. And Teddy is, uh, uh, he is now not only uh, my puppy, but he's also the office dog. Uh, so the, the mm-hmm. office has been asking for an office dog. They now have one. And honestly, it works out good just because I wasn't going to get one. My, my kids wanted a dog. Uh, and I'm like, guys, I can't have a dog. I travel. I do whatever. And I'm not traveling this year as much as I did last year. Last year was insanity. Yeah. Uh, but we've had a couple of people in the office like, I'll watch him when you're gone and we'll bring him into the office and he'll hang in here. And, you know, so this dog's going to have more love than I think. Anyone. Oh, he's going to be so spoiled. My boys have been beyond spoiled. just ridiculous like just in love with him taking him out constantly hanging with him like doing you know he's a sweetheart yeah he needs to he's still very young he's only you know a little over eight weeks he needs to learn how to control his bodily functions uh, <laughs> but we will get there he's still a brand new babe but so that's happened um what else has gone on since uh we just got back from vacay did a little vacation, vacation was great yeah Mexico. i mean I, I, life is good yeah yeah life we, is really good i mean we're, we everyone asks how it, the long distance relationship yeah works and a lot of it is just honestly on the road it well, well i mean we it's up and yeah you'll meet up you'll go to an event like yesterday i had a thing in dallas it was your birthday you'll I mean, meet me in it, dallas come back if it works with my kids schedule that's right then we'll meet but if it doesn't it doesn't yeah a lot of a lot of facetime a lot of uh uh yeah you know it works yeah, so we just did we did Mexico, which was awesome. Honestly, at the end of the year that we just had, I mean, that was absolutely needed. Like that was just like it. We did Vail. We did Vail with Nick and Hannah uh, for they for hosted us New Year's Vail. Eve. That was nice. Uh, we didn't make it to midnight. We went uh, from eighty four degrees to eighty five to eight point five. <laughs> it's like call it like it was. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was a little. It was a little. How bit. was your New Year's? What did you do? Uh, I had two naps on New Year's. With your cool. cats, probably? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, no. But yeah, no, two naps. Uh, oh. Crushed one at two and another one around eight. Woke up for New Year's. Good for you. You know what Jared years. said? Jared was like, this is the first year that I, I haven't seen the ball drop. Yeah. And But we were in a different time zone. Yeah. So he's like, nor did so I. So weird. Yeah. Yeah. And in California, we've always tuned in to like the ball drop in East Coast. But they, they do so, the live thing when you're in another time zone. They do the live thing from New York, like the whole thing. And then when it turns time that it's midnight and the ball gets dropped, which would normally was happening here, my kids were watching, whatever. They just act like it's not happening and they go to something else. And then they go into like local pro. You're like, what? What just happened here? Like, you know, and then and then they and then they replay. Yeah. 
I mean, when it's, it's time, a, they replay the ball drop as if it's live, even though now I'm like, I'm from there. Like, I know New York is cleaned out right now. Like, yeah. there's nothing. Yeah. So it was interesting. Yeah. It was interesting for him, but normal for everybody else sure. listening to this podcast. But there was no <laughs> chance I was sure. making it. There was no chance I was making it. I made it till 10 o'clock mountain time, which is where we were. Uh, just to call my kids, do that. And but he left, he actually left everyone I was, with I me was, there. Yeah. I was done. You He's know like, what? Bye. You know what? Let's be honest. I was up since the crack. I don't have the ability to sleep in. I don't. I have no ability to sleep in. And so I was up since the crack of dawn. We were going around Vail during the day, just all day long. I'm tired. You get back. Now you eat, whatever. And I'm doing that thing where I'm looking at the clock and I'm just going like, it is four hours from midnight. I don't have four hours in me. Like, I do not see this (laughs) happening. I don't, you know. And so surprisingly, I did not make it. But I'm not upset about it. No, he just yeah. got up and left me and the group and bye. Well, I didn't just, I just said, hey, he guys. He said, he said, happy New Year's. He made your hugs all the way around happy and bye. Year. Going to bed. That's Good SpongeBob. Night. You're just like, all right. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah. I was Later. done. Did you make yeah. it to midnight? Yeah. Well, the, the, well, the two yeah. naps. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, I woke up at around like 11. Well, you, did the, you did the, I told myself I was going to set my alarm and wake up. And then I realized I don't really care. Yeah. I just want to go to sleep, yeah. you know. And then we had a flight the next day. It's getting home like i'm i'm mm-hmm. good i'm mm-hmm. done so anyways. uh anyway so it comes and goes so quickly oh yeah whatever i'm not a late i don't know she knows you put a movie on i'm done i can't oh fall, yeah. yeah i can't fall asleep at night i can't fall i can't nap during the day i can't whatever but there hits a, there hits a certain part of the day where if you put on like a movie we or, do a lot of virtual like every, virtual movies right yeah. so one two three go hit play that's how usually, usually no no you're choosing actually, ahead. Go, stop go. <laughs> countdown yeah. has to count down and i'm like wait wait is it one two three then go or is it one two <laughs> it's go? always like he needs detail on everything don't is it one two three and <laughs> don't hit play wait till i say go <laughs> we'll just say go do you know <laughs> what's so funny about think? that i think some people will be surprised to hear <laughs> There are a lot of things where I'm not a detailed person. Oh my god! All. You know, like there are a lot of things you guys. I'm like, just take it, whatever, do it. But I don't want to hear about it, whatever. <laughs> and then there are things, especially things that are more personal in life or more whatever that you experience, where I am very. Oh gosh! Like I need, and I'm the worst person because I'm like, oh my god, I don't do deep. I don't care. Okay, and you, I, I do you know your enneagram. In your enneagram. You had it right. Enneagram. In no no. <laughs> you know your enneagram number? Do you know what that is? Oh no. my gosh. Anyways, wrong, I'm an eight. So I'm very much like, hey, we're going to do this. And this is the end results. Everything in between, well, don't care. We'll figure it out when we get there. I love, I'm all about the experience. So it could be a drive. It could be, I don't know, anything. Whatever. Jared needs to know details about when everything. When it's when personal. It stop. Yes, when it's personal. So Business like, wise, you guys know I'm like, but, go, go. Yeah. Personal? Yeah. Yeah. So how'd it go, Linda, with your conversation? Yada, yada. Oh, well, great. Well, what do you guys talk about? stuff i lost like like what <laughs> uh um like our day and then like and then like three, and then like three days later she'll be like oh yeah blah, 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 blah. i'm like it's kind of a big detail like how did that not come up yeah it takes me a long time you know and- i'll literally cut her off and be like how is that when how is that just coming up now you know, that was kind of a major thing okay. for four hours and that's all you talked about yeah. <laughs> what is going on yeah but um, yeah, so one, two, three, go. And then five minutes into a movie, I look at the camera because we're kind of FaceTiming and watching it. We still have not gone through Yellowstone. <laughs> I mean, we are so behind on that because this guy yeah. falls asleep. That's a total death. But yeah. to his defense, he waits until I am ready. So my kids are down. Everyone's asleep. Yeah, That's 8.30. Hours. And then you yeah. have three hours on top of that. That is a great point. So I have to I'm say, under a different he is, op- yes. And I'm doing my best. And the problem is, is no matter what time I go to bed, I'm up the next morning. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, okay, here like, we go. Like, yeah. Like, I would love to, not a lot of people have long distance relationships yeah, yeah, like yeah. this, yeah. but I wonder how other people like handle not handle the relationship, but like how like how do they how do they make it work? Well, we have like, a very we have a very abnormal like even what we do like we're very fortunate in the sense that extremely blessed we'll yeah. just fly out and go do this and do whatever like most we people are. can't do that and so like I think about that often like you know like I was telling someone the other day about our relationship and how we make it work and everything else and they're just kind of looking at me like like we're crazy and then I realized oh they're in a union like they work seven to three like this does not sound normal to yeah. them. And I just stopped and I'm just like, hey, you, you know, you got to understand, like, I do not have a normal life. Like, I do not, you know, like both of yeah. us, we're juggling, you know, uh, our children and those things. But then also, even when I'm not 
you know, with my kids or doing whatever, like I don't have a no, you guys no. know, like I'm all over. And you, you know, the other day we're sitting here and they're like, you know, are you go, uh, uh, various countries reached out about going to these ones. Well, can we make it work over here? Can you go do And it's just not normal. Yeah. You should see their faces, Tom, because they'll always ask. So where are you two from? You know, even if we're dining, you're not on vacation. If we're going out and dining, Hey, what's your yeah. name? Where are you guys from? Yeah. We always say, yeah, Connecticut, California. Yeah. They're like, yeah. Wait. And it takes them a while to process it. We say New York, because if you say we Connecticut, say, yeah, we say, say Connecticut, somebody names somebody up in northern Connecticut and asks, do you know them? Yeah. You know, yeah no, no, the uh, New London, I don't know. Them. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Yeah, but if you say New York, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah I've never been there. I feel like That's everyone's true. related or knows everyone in Connecticut. So we either do but that. It does kind of seem like that. I don't know much of Connecticut, but it does seem like that. Mm, so you're part of the problem here. <laughs> this is... So, uh, well, there you <laughs> so, so I was gonna say like, like we either do that or we come up with a story and have some fun with it. Like, like who you and I, oh yeah. Oh, like, who are we? Yeah. Oh yeah. We want to pretend. Oh, that's a good time. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a, that's a good time. We're like, we're like, well, what's your name? What's your name? You know, whatever. Like, or we'll go into a restaurant and be like, it's our 20 year anniversary. Give we, us your best seat. The funny part is he does it with that accent too. <laughs> I I 100% believe that. I will. Like, that's 100. not 100. 100. telling people like our 50th anniversary just to get a free something. Yeah. We're at an inclusive. Everything is free. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, they can't. It's not like they can. It's your birthday. They can see your license. How do you, how do you validate an anniversary? It is the greatest play on planet. It's the greatest card to play. Whenever you're a couple and you go somewhere, anniversary, anniversary. And you get a free dessert. And oh my and God. A yeah, 10 year, you get the best spot in the Petals. house. Our pedals on the whatever it's just anniversary it's it's the card that not enough people play it, no, i'm taking notes are you yeah. taking notes i mean okay. it's good it's it's You're really you like wait a minute what anniversary <laughs> yeah it's oh, really why would she hate it oh, she hate the attention uh-huh see you know what yeah. though that's an interesting point because contrary to what i don't like attention but that's just a good seat that's a i mean come on i feel that's like fair. I feel like you should play that. I feel like even if it was our anniversary, she'd be like, shut, shut your mouth. <laughs> really? So yeah. she just likes to be in, in hiding. Just leave yeah. me alone. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. We used to go, speaking uh -huh. of NAR earlier, me and my buddies used to go, when we would go to NAR, we would go to the international section mm -hmm. and we would have to pick a country and you're only given two lines to use and you have to see how long you could hold a conversation. So like one year I got Australian because I, contrary to belief, I don't, I'm not a man of many accents. I know you may have heard different. Okay. Uh, and and my all of my accents always run into one of two. They're either Australian or Indian. Sure. But luckily you picked a country that doesn't that speaks the English language. Right. Well, I mean, I I thought that was a given. I mean, you have to <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna whatever. So my my two lines um were good day, mate. Oh, okay. And I'm done. And so oh. I would walk up to people. Oh, they picked the line for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So I'd walk up and I'd be like, good day, mate. And they'd start talking and I'd go, hey, yeah, yeah. And then I'd be like, I'm done. Oh my God. <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> Have you seen Impractical Jokers? Of course. I, that's one of the things that you and I would watch quite a bit. Oh, but we would actually but do like, it though. How fun. I would do that. Like I don't know if you would do all the stuff that Impractical Jokers does. Well, I mean, we tried to for the office thing. Yeah, I, I, mean, did to, I did try to, I did try to set up a punishment. Uh, oh, wait, when, when did you guys? When they did the decorating contest. We tried to set them up for a good punishment. Well, I mean, Jenna did it. Yeah, that was impressive. Yeah. Although, although I would argue that if you tell them what you're doing, it doesn't count. So they had. She yeah, so, she said, uh, "Hey, I'm going to be whatever. You know, I can't." For the listeners, away. they had a Christmas decorating contest. One side of the office, other side of the office. Wasn't really a contest, but yeah, yeah. wasn't really a contest. Uh, in other words, because he's saying that they just blew them out. Like you understand, like Tom is is a uh, a nice. Tom also belt. just won <laughs> fantasy football. Yes, he did. Yeah, what? only because, only because, let's be clear for a second. Okay. My receiver Someone definitely had one hard... catch for four Someone yards, Hopkins, had... the week before, or I would have been in that Someone's final. definitely a poor sport. <laughs> like... Well, someone's also the defending champ. But I did have, I did have DeAndre Hopkins have one catch for four yards, which cost me the 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 victory the week. Uh, before. Well, that's what happened uh, with with Lex. She had Justin Jefferson one one catch. One catch for four yards. Yep. I mean, are you kidding me? You have one job, dude. Congratulations, job. Tom. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh. You're welcome. No, he sent a text out to the whole <laughs> office saying that he's going to be referred to as champ. Okay. Champ. You know what I did when I won? I said, everyone, Pizza I will not take me. your money. We'll do a pizza party. So you use their money to buy their food. 
Technically, the Peach Party never came. <laughs> it's, we kept the money. <laughs> no, I didn't collect their money. I didn't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, at last year's draft, as it were. I would argue that there are plenty of things that are given along the way True. Uh, uh, that this guy's paying for that That's maybe it went money. towards that. But anyways, congratulations. You know, you know how I knew you were going to win is that in the group chat, you started writing things about, I think this year there should be a trophy. I think it should be engraved on here. I think it should be. And I'm like, he's clearly leading the championship <laughs> right now. Oh, gosh. He, like, he did everything but say nobody in the office should make eye contact with the champ. That's true. You know, <laughs> he's... I reserve my snack talk until I get a favorable result. Until then, I just keep my mouth shut. So when I win, it's a great time. Oh, my God. I love that you believe that. Yeah. You talk so much uh, smack. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> What are you even talking about? What are you talking about? Guys, HR, okay? And he's killed more self-esteem in this office than... <laughs> just... No, no. I don't, I don't know about that. Why don't we go ask Kat what kind of office mate you are? All I can say are. is that Jerry was she really upset. He left the office because of you. I don't think so. Kat. <laughs> What's that? Oh, you said Kat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't really, but I mean, it might have. I mean, he was he was like the big brother you don't want. Mm. That's... that's uh. <laughs> no, and that was fun, though. That was yeah. fun. Anyway, we do have to close up here because uh, <laughs> it is getting time. Um, but we may or may not do an audible. He's really soon, really soon, guys. But uh, we have a lot of things to talk about. There's, you know, I'm going to do more of these things. We'll do some more business talk. We'll do some more just like recaps of what's going on, when it's going on. Uh, maybe do some talk about some stuff going on in the industry, business, you know, whatever it is. Because there's so many things going on right now. Like literally I'm so many get things. to a season that is get to pick up and get really busy yeah i feel like i always say that like oh busy so, season busy season it doesn't seem to stop um but yeah. there, there's a lot of changes happening i mean major layoffs happening uh compass just mm -hmm. did another round of layoffs uh amazon just announced another round of layoffs meta known as facebook yeah. announced another ten thousand layoff i mean like there's all these things that are happening right now that are that are hugely important um you know and they, they've got uh you know ramifications that affect everybody listening so we'll talk about some serious stuff but at the same time I feel like I just do so much serious content that I like to just kind of joke around, have fun sometimes, do a uh, do a pod. You and I have been doing a lot of reels lately. We've been doing, you know yeah. what? You know, I think the little known one is the TikTok. Dan and I. You and I will put things on TikTok that don't end up anywhere else. Yeah. So if anybody's watching, if you follow <laughs> me or you follow Linda, you'll get some stuff that's uh, not necessary. What are you on TikTok? Uh, I don't know. It's like I'm underscore Miss Linda. Underscore Miss. You said I don't know. Underscore, underscore Miss Linda. Miss yeah. Linda. <laughs> I don't know. It yeah. might be. No, but it's just the fun. It's just, you know, we are human. Yeah. And so just recharge, my recharging is just kind of letting loose and just having fun. I love doing the stuff with you. We do. Yeah. We've, I mean, we've got ones we haven't even released yet, like some funny so, reels, some so funny TikToks. so much of like being so professional and work, yeah. work, work. But yeah. then like there's a reality of stuff, which is fun. Don't you think that's the thing that people don't know about us is like... um I am kind of who I am all the, I mean, I feel like I am who I am all the time. You know me, like I'm, you know, I mean, you could hopefully say if it was different, but like, uh, I'm not like serious all the time. Like I've, I, I think, think about I think things. Audience, like they see you on stage, yeah. like you're comical, you're fun, you're, yeah. you know, you have great insight on the industry, but there's a lot of things like the goofiness. Yeah. You guys, he's a great singer. <laughs> You know, oh, God, I almost just knocked this thing. He's a great that. singer. What did I do? No one would know that unless you had karaoke with him. I mean, I literally... like, he's so great. <laughs> Put that back up. Here he's we go. He's clumsy. Great singer. <laughs> so great. He's just breaking microphones all over the place. Ready, God. <laughs> Okay, but I, we have a great time. I am not a great singer. I don't know how this thing goes back. John Mangus. But let's John just be clear. Stuart, he is. I am singer. not a great. What I do is uh -oh. great pitch. <laughs> <laughs> you not agree? I agree. But I'm not a great singer. He's a great singer. No, that's not true, guys. Don't listen to that. Anyways. That's not true. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> we have fun. We're goofy, and I think I think we've made kind of a decision to. Um, I'm never going to stop doing the fun business stuff, that kind of stuff. But like, I think we've made a decision also together to kind of do the fun, mm -hmm. kind of show our personalities a little bit, yeah. have some fun with it. Um, I think we're just comfortable it's enough to kind of do that. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, that's the world we live in. Just be us. Like I think you say. I think the most common thing that you said when we first got together was you would continually say. I love seeing this side of you that no one else gets to see when oh. I'd be goofy with you and I'd be making you laugh and I'd be doing whatever. I love to see like the behind the stage and what people don't like see yeah. on stage, which yeah. is like the goofiness and quirkiness that he, like, he has or I have or um, 
the affectionate that he shows that he might not show like yeah in front of him. yeah so I, I love I love that and so I would say the same thing about you by the way is that oh, yeah. I think you are way more quirky and funny and laughing and affectionate and all these kind of things mm -hmm. that I think people who have known you for decades would not know about you or it comes off like intimidation like because I'm maybe my platform or my title or whatever yeah. I do is like, there's that intimidation side of things, but like literally. It's probably the yelling the at your employees. <laughs> what it is. It's the, it's, none of that. It's the berating. No, yeah. None of my employees would say I ever yell at them. Yeah, of course they wouldn't. Cause they're afraid of being yelled <laughs> because at. I'm, no, because I'm doing their <laughs> annual reviews right now. <laughs> hey, I'm a great boss. Aren't I Tom? <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways, well, we got, we got things to do people to pick up and places to go don't that we is, that is uh <laughs> without context it's a little bit of a strange ending but yes, yeah it's true no no it's the truth <laughs> uh, well let's be honest i gotta get my kids from school so there's a little something you guys don't know when i'm not on the road which i'm on the road a lot but uh i clear my calendar uh in the morning and yeah. the afternoon to make sure that i drop my kids at school pick my kids up like i mean i i absolutely i saw a thing the other day that uh uh when your kids graduate high school 97 percent of the time that you will ever spend with them is now gone yeah. And I mentioned that the other I, day. I made me yeah. want to cry. I'm like, are you kidding me? And then I look at my older son who's getting his license now. He's getting his permit, yeah. his license for looking at cars. And I'm going, our time is driving in the car yeah. to practices, going to college showcases, going to games, talking in the car. I'm like, that's about to be taken away. That is kind of crazy. So yeah, like when you that. see, when you see uh that's something uh you know that that I have done, I always block out my calendar. So that's what I'm doing right now. Like I go pick up the kids. It's so crazy because his block out is different. I'm sorry, then my no. block out, my block out is like, oh, we have the to color my daughter's six so we have 30 minutes let's color and paint and do whatever you want in the middle of the day oh my god my kids and then like not, like my kids are six and nine and so we live in a different world versus we go grab a beer I'm just no, kidding. Don't <laughs> do <that>. no. <laughs> <laughs> no but my, my kids do love going to starbucks and going to yeah it's like a different world it's yeah different so world. like he definitely does play dad soccer dad like coaching now uh, is coming up oh we get we start this you so, said like, the day you're like i can't wait to see you coaching i can't wait to see him because i'll be coaching the, it's the, the, gonna the be weekend. a different side of him yeah throwing the oh it's, it's not even a joke oh if you ask my son i scream at the kids the whole time but i've known them since they were little scream at them like a joke like literally it's like it's like out of a comedy movie like they know i'm playing with them yeah. and uh you know i'll just be screaming at them you've got all day to be tired get over here. You're embarrassing yourself. You know, like, and literally it's because I've known these kids since they were little and they know that I'm kidding. And if you ask that, they love me coaching them. My son even says like, I love it when he, cause that's what I do. I mess with them yeah. where they're having fun. Look, they've got professional coaches yeah. in their regular, whatever. This is a winter thing. It's something I can still do. It's fun, but we got to go because I got to I got to pick up one of those kids right time. now. But uh, guys, thanks for being on. I'm sure we'll do this again. I'm oh. sure you're not going to do a bunch more of these yeah. uh, uh, as we move forward. But uh, as usual, guys, make sure you subscribe, leave a great review. Uh, we're just getting back into this. I hope you enjoy just kind of having some fun with us. Um, I think I, I love listening to podcasts where that happens. Uh, if you enjoyed it, let us know. If you want to hear more of these, let us know. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Thanks so much. I will see some of you soon in person. Uh, but make sure you stay connected, connectwithjared.com. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.